Hey guys, this is Freezer here with Ace Spec Airsoft, and today I'll be bringing you a video review of the JG AK-74. This is actually an amazing weapon. It includes a blowback system and is steel and wood, and steel is coated in a CED finish. Very nice. So, let's open this up. So, you take the box top off, and inside we got paperwork, which includes a Spec Airsoft warranty, same stuff as always, as mentioned many times, questions, you can call the number. A Spec Airsoft Chrono Inspection Sheet. This was chronoed at 415 to 425 with .2s and was tested and inspected by Adam. Also, a manual. This is the 74U manual, but this is essentially the same gun as their 74U. It just has a full stock instead. And it also has uh, pictures of some of uh, JG's soon to be uh, AK lineups and some really funny stuff, which we'll show you now. And it also comes with shooting targets. And all of a sudden, JG has decided to do this with their packaging. This is some amazing stuff. Um, I remember this kind of packaging being in the Ares Tavor box. It's a very nice uh, foam. Has the gun, little slots for everything. Fits in there perfectly, looks really nice, and keeps the gun and its components extremely safe. So, even though we've already showed you what the inside of the package looks like, here's what it looks like inside. Inside you'll have your a pack of 200.2 JG BBs, but now for the obligatory, use TSD. A JG Works 1100mAh 8.4 battery. A trickle charger, we recommend you don't use this and that you go and buy a high-tech smart charger. A cleaning and de-jamming rod. A magazine winder. A front side post adjuster. A 600 round high capacity metal magazine. And your JG AK-74. Now let's go a little into the history of this rifle. The JG AK-74, surprisingly, is derived from the Russian AK-74. Big surprise there. It was designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov in 1974, hence the name AK-74. It is a refined version of the AK-47 and was introduced, once again, in 1974. It uses a 5.45mm assault rifle cartridge as opposed to the heavier 7.62 cartridge that the AK-47 used. The rifle first saw service with the Soviet forces when engaged in the Afghanistan conflict and it continues to be used today by countries of the former USSR. Additionally, Bulgaria, China, and the former East Germany and Romania both cloned this weapon, China calling it the Type 88, East Germany calling it the MPI 74N or something like that. So it's still being used today and they've made about 5 million of them so it's a pretty populous rifle and we'll probably be seeing it in many years to come. Now that we're done with that we're going to talk about the features of the AK-74. This gun has a blowback system in case you didn't know that already. It's extremely nice and we will show it to you right now. Another feature on this weapon would be the sights. As you can see, you've got a little Russian character there, as well as the numbers 1 through 10. And they are painted on white instead of just being stamped on there like they are on most AKs. This gun also has two sling mounts, which are located on the left side of the weapon. As you can see, there's one here, which is made of metal, and there's also one on the front, right here, which is made of metal. And you can definitely trust these because this one's welded into the furniture of the gun, and the one on the stock is bolted onto the stock itself, so it's definitely sturdy and trustworthy. This gun comes with a 600 round high capacity metal magazine, as you see here. A really nice thing that JG has done, which doesn't really have to do with the magazine, the magazine release on some AK-47s is notorious for wedging its way out of its socket, which it does on some models, some older JG models, and even some of the very old CYMA models. JG has fixed this by essentially welding the the two parts together, which prevents the mag release from moving at all, except in the way that it's supposed to, which is pushing it in to eject the magazine. It's a very, very nice little touch that JD's added. The stock back here is where the battery goes. The butt plate is nice and it is ribbed for 
grip on the shoulder. It is screwed on, but you just unscrew it to take it off and the battery goes in there. It can hold the 8.4 that it comes with as well as a mini 9.6. And another interesting thing that JG has done is the fuse, which is usually in the stock or wherever the battery is, is up here in the center of the gun above the gearbox, which is a very, uh, it's different from what from the norm. And it increases the battery space in the stock, so you can fit some bigger batteries like the aforementioned 9.6 Mini. Another cool feature about this gun is its uh, side mount rail. You can mount side rails, such as the not upside down, UTG 978 uh, double side mount. Just put it on there and put a scope mount or optics or sights or whatever you want on there to make your gun even more accurate. Also, the flash hider right here is removable and it is just simply something screwed onto a 14 millimeter thread. So you just take it off and put another flash hider on there. Now for the metal and plastic, and in this case wood, components to this weapon. The majority of this gun is metal and wood, not just any metal, steel, as mentioned earlier. Outer barrel is metal, fake gas tube is metal, front sights are metal, rear sights are metal, bolt is metal, body is metal, lower receiver is metal, magazine is metal, upper receiver is metal, butt plate is metal, slings are, sling points are metal, fire selector switch is metal, everything is metal on this gun with the exception of the wood which is front hand grip and the butt stock. The only plastic components of this weapon are the front flash hider and the pistol grip right here. Now over to Delta One for the internal reports. Thank you, Freezer. Now I'm going to tell you about the internals after I shoot on full auto for a second. Always shoot it three times on semi to make sure your spring is fully decompressed. Now, the internals. Short time motor with a version 3 gearbox with 7mm ball bearings, not bushings, ball bearings, which allows for that higher rate of fire. On an 8.4 volt battery shooting at 425 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs, you are shooting 800 rounds per minute. Now with a 9 volt, you are almost near a thousand. You're at around 950 a minute, which is quite amazing considering the fact that the blowback system is attached to the piston, so every time the piston comes back, this comes back. There will be a better detailed video coming soon where I will show you the internals because this model that, I, that I'm showing you right now, I bought for myself. We do have this and we do sell it. So, 407 millimeter inner barrel, which is a tight bore and is extremely accurate. We were hitting a two inch target with ease from over 60 feet away. And overall, this is just, I'm amazed with what they've done and I can't wait to show you what it looks like inside in another video. So back to you, Freezer. Thank you, Delta One, for the internal reports. Now for the final conclusion. This is an amazing gun from JG. They have stepped it up on so many levels with internal quality, external quality, even the quality of their boxes and their packaging has, has improved immensely since the old uh, M4A1 carbines and such. The packaging is amazing. Even the blowback system, if you're shooting 800 rounds per minute on an 8.4 volt at 400 some odd FPS with a blowback system, that's just amazing. So JG has done some really incredible stuff. If you wanted to, you could probably remove the flash hider and put on some something cool there and even hang it on the hang it on a wall or something like that. Um, use it for skirmishing because it's hard, shoots hard, looks cool, shoots fast, big rate of fire. With its uh very accurate with its 6.04 tight bore barrel and even mounting scopes or anything on there is easy with just simply purchasing the uh, side mount so amazing gun uh, 175 off aspecairsoft.com as mentioned earlier you can check the link in the video description it's either there or over there and yeah so this has been our review of the JG AK74 thanks for watching